We named her Darla, and she is so precious. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Ben, so what are we doing? We are attempting to milk the cow for the first time. I'm nervous because I've watched like tons of people like Roots and Refuge and just like other people. Their first experience wasn't what they expected. So I'm like kind of going into it thinking, even if I get a tiny little bit of milk, I'll be happy with that. You know, even if she goes into the stanchion and kind of just stands, I'll be happy with that. We have all our stuff, her teat dip, tiny little bit of soapy water and clean rags, bucket for milking. I have a lead rope, but hopefully I don't need it. I'm I guess hoping. we should have mentioned that we actually Got a cow. Oh yeah, so <laughs> another we got cow. another jersey, <laughs> mid-sized jersey. We named her Darla and she is so precious. She's three years old and she's actually pregnant and due in April, so super exciting. We actually get to milk. And the reason why we wanted to get the cow was because we're spending about $100 a week on like dairy products, whether it be toddler formula or cheese or milk. It's $400 a month. We're thinking that we'll probably save some money, but it's more than that. It's not really about the money. It's about the fact that we can get raw, organic milk, and there's so many benefits to raw milk, which we can go into in probably another video. Obviously, we're not experts. We've been doing our research and listening to other people who are experts, so yeah, we're excited. <laughs> okay, also to add some context, we do have two cows now. They're hiding on me. We have Darla. Darla here and Bonnie. So Bonnie is the one from the previous vlog where she got out of the fence. Oh, oh, she went through. We will have a story time about that occurrence because that was quite the happening. It will be quite the story and I think all of you will enjoy it. It was miserable as it was happening, but now that she's back, it's kind of funny. But anyway, Darla, we can milk. She's actually pregnant right now, but she's also in milk. So she is the cow that we are milking. She is a mid-sized jersey. And Bonnie behind her, Bonnie. Bonnie the runner. We actually named her Bonnie because she did run on us. The whole story, which again is funny, you will understand why we called her Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. But she is a mini jersey. So she's only about 200 pounds. Darla is about five, 600 pounds or so. This is actually our first time milking them, as Maxine said. This is kind of like a improvised stanchion here. This gate will open, we'll get her in, tie her off, feed her, right here and then milk her from the side it's only temporary because we do want to build a standalone stanchion so then two people can milk at the same time on both sides because with this setup only one person can and then also we still need a feed bucket to hang on here so for the time being we're just going to have a upside down bucket with a feed bowl on top let's get this started this, this is our very first time neither one of us have experience so this should be fun but we are always up for new experiences as always and i think these cows are going to do great. Insane to think that we even have two cows. Okay guys, we have been on a search for a better camera for the baby's room, a better baby monitor, something that we can trust, something that has all of the specifications that we need, also something that we don't have to have an actual monitor for, something we can use on an app on our phone, something quick and simple, and that is where the 360 smart camera AC1C comes into play guys i am telling you this thing is a game changer i mean you got to hear these specs it is compact and easy installation and enhanced 1080p video quality 130 degree wide angle two-way talk color night vision 2020 ai chip a face recognition human detection and baby cry monitoring all you have to do is download an app called bots lab B-O-T-S-L-A-B, -S you download that app and it has everything you need. You enter in some information and voila, you're good to go. So guys, believe me when I say the 360 smart camera AC1C is the camera for you if you are a parent, the 360 smart camera AC1C. Get it now. What's up guys? What you doing? Darla, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready for us to milk ya? You ready for us to milk ya? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's so cute. So 
I'm just giving her it's like a sweet feed pellet and then I give her half alfalfa pellets. Okay, so we're just brushing her to get some of the extra hair and dirt off. She came from like a raw milk dairy farm, so she does have like lots of poop on her. If any cow people are watching this, it's cold out to give her a bath. Like obviously I've grown up with horses and so I would give a horse a bath, but it's cold out and so I'm sort of thinking like maybe I shouldn't bathe her. I wouldn't bathe her whole body, but just the area, the localized area. And so should I bathe her? I'll look into it and maybe ask some people how I could get this poop off her. For now, I'm just gonna clean her water with some soap, a little bit of diluted soapy water. I'm gonna iodine dip her teats too, just because like we're new and I just wanna make sure everything is super clean um, for the milk. <laughs> It's all clean. I really wiped her down, her udders, and just like under her belly. Now I'm gonna dip her teeth in iodine. Never done this before, so I'm assuming this is like the iodine dip. Just squeeze it, I'm assuming, and just kind of dip it. Dip it right in, yeah. Good girl. Good girl. And remember, she's a new cow, too. We just got her, so she's not really used to us. <laughs> she feels so full. Yeah. There you go. Good girl, Darla. Good girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good girl. Good girl. Oh my god. Here, you want to try? Our first milk. <laughs> good girl. She's being such a good girl. Yeah. Good, good girl, girl Darla. Darla. Go ahead, babe. We have about a gallon to go. Where's like, the other tea? I can't like see it that well. It's, it's, it's like back between her legs. Mm -hmm. Good girl, That's Darla. Really interesting. Because like really you want to do two of them, don't you? Yeah. We might have to use a milking machine for her. Because she does she has that like weird milk or teat structure. Good girl. Oh, sweet girl. Oh my god. And that's the thing, like, people say you have to get really used to it. Yeah. Good girl, because it's tiring, you know? Yeah. Good girl, Good job, darling. Darla. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, she's not used to being used to hand milk. She's being such a good girl. Good girl, Darla. You know, she's used to being milked with a machine, so the fact that she's being this good. Yeah, she's being awesome. Oh, she's really coming now, look. Come from, come from this side. Wow, look at that. Good job, babe. Good girl, Darla. Again, any cow people, how's my technique? <laughs> Is it, could, what could I do to make it easier? And I worry that like I don't want to hurt her, but I'm oh, I being <laughs> pretty gentle. <laughs> Ew, Darla. What do we have here? <laughs> I got some eggs. Ooh, we got some eggs. I feel like a real homesteader. Look at all those eggs. Yeah. Just now. Yeah. Ah. This is the milk we got. So we got about half a gallon, which is not great, but I would consider it a success because it was our first time milking. It was her first time really being hand milked. All the all the eggs. Oh, yeah. Eggs. Um. So she normally produces about two gallons a day. No, we're not going to touch those because we don't want to break them, honey. She normally produces about two gallons a day. So. We got half a gallon, and then if we get a, another half a gallon later, I think she'll be okay. I did order like a little milking machine, which should be arriving today, just in case I couldn't get enough out. Like this is my first time milking. So I'll put that on her tonight, and hopefully we can get like another gallon, which should be good. It's exciting! Also, and then don't we're gonna mind the car seat hanging in the background. Those are drying. <laughs> yeah, you have never seen dirt until you have seen a toddler's car seat. It is disgusting. I'm gonna wash my hands, and then we are gonna strain the milk. And someone can have a first taste, which is super exciting. Wait, hold on, so who's gonna drink it first? I don't know. I'm not me. I don't Mama. like milk. Mama.
This is the bucket that we're gonna pour all of our milk into. There's not a lot today, but I just kinda wanna show you what we're gonna do for when we have more milk and we have to put it in here. I ordered a strainer, but they didn't have any where I ordered this stuff from, so it's on its way. I'm just gonna use some cheesecloth to strain it. And you wanna strain it because of all like the dirt and hair and stuff that can get in the milk, you know, being out in the barn. So, let's see how this works. Oh. <laughs> it's, doesn't look like it's gonna work. It's going down. Do they order the one kind of something? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. What? The cloth is like falling out. Yeah, that's why at some point, yeah. there's usually like a band that goes around it. At that point, though, we'll probably have the strainer. Yeah. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so then you can really see all the remnants. All the little, yeah. So that's what we strained out. Dirt and stuff. Nice. Like little pieces of hay. Nice. Cool, there it is. Nice clean milk. Our first milk. How cool is that? That's so cool. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> is that yummy? What does it taste like? Like milk. Really? Yeah. Like is it a little sweeter than regular it's milk? It's a bit richer. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> is it good? You think it's yummy, Henry? Yeah. Thank you, Dada. 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 Thank you, and she's a Jersey, so they have more butter fat and like in their milk. Jerseys do? Yeah. Which one tastes better? Hey, look how, how much whiter yeah. this is. Which one do you think is better, honestly? To be honest, the Darla's. Darla's really? Milk. Yeah. It tastes better than after tasting pasteurized milk. There's a distinct yeah, difference. Not raw, it's, fresh it's, milk. Yeah, it's hard for me to describe it though. And they're, they're I think it tastes different, like from a Jersey, because they have the. Yeah. Higher percentage of fat in their milk. I'm gonna say cheers at you. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> 